Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how to move Bitcoins from your Coinbase account uh, on your phone into your very own private digital wallet. In this case, it's going to be the Electrum Bitcoin wallet. So let's get started. So uh, in my series, I talk a lot about uh, cryptocurrency and things like that. And uh, I wanted to do a, a few short, sweet videos on how to uh, do something quite simple that uh, may be a little mysterious to you. In this case, we're moving Bitcoins from one place to another. So we're going to be using the Coinbase app today. So I'm going to switch you over to some screen share here. Okay, so uh, if you don't have Coinbase on your phone yet and you haven't figured out how to buy Bitcoin, refer to some of my other videos. I've got a lot of videos on how you uh, set up Coinbase and get started, but I'm just going to assume that you have a Coinbase account and you have some Bitcoin in it already. All right, so as you can see, uh, this particular account uh, has a little bit of uh, Bitcoin in it, and we're going to move this over to our own private wallet. So I've got the Electrum Bitcoin wallet installed on this computer. And there we go. So we just need to enter our password. Oops, it's not taking it, is it? Okay. All right, there we go. You can see there's a few transactions in there already. Okay, we want to receive some Bitcoins. Okay, and we're going to use the uh, Coinbase app to do this. So now we just go back to Coinbase. All right. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay. Now, uh, this is our uh, Coinbase account app on our phone. And uh, I'm going to go over here to accounts. And as you can see, I want to uh, send some Bitcoin. So I'm going to go into the Bitcoin wallet. Now, uh, up here in the, uh, the top here, as you, I'm moving my mouse up here, there's a little uh, paper airplane. I'm going to tap that. That's my send. Okay. And how much am I going to send? Uh, I think I want to send it all, if it will let me. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to use max. All right, and that's the maximum uh, amount of Bitcoin left in the wallet. I'm going to go ahead and send it. Okay, now here's the fun part. You can see over here on my Electrum wallet that there's a QR code here for the receiving address. So I'm going to use my Coinbase app to uh, scan that QR code. As you can see up here, there's a little uh, QR uh, code icon. So I'm just going to tap that with my finger. And it turns this on, and I'm going to move this up. Bam. Wasn't that cool? So now I've just scanned the address of my Bitcoin wallet on my computer. I'm going to send it. Oh, what happened? Let's do it one more time. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now I'm just going to tap send. And there it goes. Coinbase just gave me a little email saying that I sent some Bitcoin. Let's go over here and looky there. I believe that's it. That was the last transaction that I just sent. Let's go over to our phone here. Okay, so there's our send Bitcoin. It was about $20.99. And, oh, I guess it's giving me my totals there. So as you can see, the, uh, trans, uh, the transaction is unconfirmed. It takes a little while for Bitcoin transactions to confirm. Uh, nothing to worry about. Uh, once you, in fact, you can even close the wallet after uh, while uh, it's confirming. So uh, I'm going to close the wallet here. So the transaction between Coinbase and my Bitcoin wallet uh, does, once I've initiated the transaction and it goes out onto the Bitcoin ledger or blockchain, I don't need to have any of my apps open. This is all happening on the Bitcoin uh, 
blockchain, this uh, verification process. So it's independent of my wallet. My wallet is just pointing to my Bitcoin address. So as you can see, we'll launch the wallet again. And I'll put in my password. Behold, the transactions are still waiting to be confirmed, but uh, okay. So that's how you do it. You move Bitcoin from one place to another. And the reason you might want to do this is that the Coinbase website is great. It's a great place to buy Bitcoin. But once you buy that Bitcoin, it they're holding it for you. It's like your money is in their bank. They have the private keys to the Bitcoin address that's associated with your account. So what I've decided to do now is I'm going to take that Bitcoin and I'm going to put it in my own wallet. I'm going to keep it in a coffee jar at home uh, or in a mattress that I've got in my home. And that digital mattress is my uh, Electrum Bitcoin wallet, which I have installed on my computer. And that wallet I control completely. Uh, I control the private keys and everything else about it. So uh, that's my Bitcoin, come heck or high water. So I don't have to worry about uh, the Coinbase site going down. Someone might hack the Coinbase account and uh, steal my Bitcoins. But when I move them onto my computer, onto, into my Bitcoin wallet, which I control, and I don't share my private keys with anyone, it's much more secure. That is how you have and hold your Bitcoins. And I can buy things uh, with my Electrum Bitcoin wallet, I can use Send if I need to send Bitcoins to a friend or another one of my other wallets. I can even send them back to my Coinbase account if I want to. I don't know why I would. Uh, and then I can also use this to uh, buy from vendors. With uh, they'll, they'll provide a Bitcoin address for me. I'll paste it in here and I can send my Bitcoins to them. So the Electrum Bitcoin wallet is a great way to have and hold Bitcoin and even spend them and send them if you need to. So guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for joining me. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to be alerted when I uh, post new videos, you can click, click subscribe. It's great seeing you guys and thanks for joining me.